whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. The people who have accepted the beast culture have been living in a delusional state for a long time that they do not know what reality is. When the other species of mankind entire existence is a lie, how do they cope? The tares and the serpent seed ignore reality and live in a delusional world. The kingdom of darkness via the beast system has been force feeding lies into the beast culture that many who are trapped cannot comprehend truth. The tares and the serpent seed have been profiting and benefiting from the beast culture that they cannot relate to the indigenous black people. The tares and the serpent seed have been blinded by their father Satan that they cannot perceive how diabolical the crimes they have committed against humanity are. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Indigenous Black people, because the children of the colonizers, the tares, and the full-blooded serpent seed are blind, they will never understand this truth. They will continue to pass on the lies they have been taught from the beginning to protect their interests and their fathers, whom they desperately want to accept them. They will never side with you. The religious tares will always side with their brethren. One of the most common denial used to strip you of your inheritance and identity is that the bloodlines in the scriptures are the people they refer to as the brown people. In addition, the indigenous people are the children of the colonizers. In the meantime, white people has become the face to every nation and inherited every bloodline's treasures. The people the workers of iniquity refer to as brown people are living in the background. Do you comprehend their delusions? If the other species of mankind was secure in their beliefs, why do they live in fear? Your heart should not be failing you at the thought of the indigenous black people waking up from their slumber, fulfilling prophecies. Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. If you, the other species of mankind, are as powerful and as superior as you portray yourselves over the indigenous black people, additionally the favor of the Most High is over your lives, why do you live in fear? The scripture said the Most High did not give his people the spirit of fear, but of love and a sober mind. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Where is the love the Most High gave to you over fear? If you have done nothing wrong, why does the spirit of fear have a stronghold over your lives? The reason you live in fear, you know what your end will be, just as Satan and his angels know their fate. The children of the colonizers, the tares, and the serpent seed benefited of the indigenous black people's lack of knowledge. Now that the truth is being revealed and the masks are coming off, their world is falling apart. The prophecies are being fulfilled. The truth is undeniable. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The other species of mankind are quick to deny the indigenous black people of their inheritance and identity. They position themselves as the children of the Most High in the B system. However, their behavior does not exude righteousness. The fruits they are producing reveal they are the children of the wicked one. They have a burning hatred, the scriptures refer to as a perpetual hatred, in their hearts towards the indigenous black people. If you strip the children of the colonizers, the tares, of the identity and inheritance they have taken from the indigenous black people, what do they have? Meditate on that, indigenous black people. If your story was not compromised by the kingdom of darkness, who do you say the other species of mankind are? These are serious questions one must ask oneself. 
The Most High has been revealing the identity of the enemy you live among. Most indigenous black people do not comprehend that they live in hostile environments and the people they live among are their enemies. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths, as long as it lieth desolate, and ye be in your enemy's land. Even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. Where in the scriptures did it say the people of the Most High live among their friends and allies? If we profess to believe the Most High in the scriptures or his words, we must accept what the scriptures are revealing to us. The scriptures clearly state the Israelites live among their enemies. The other indigenous black bloodlines also dwell among their enemies. The terrors have treated you like an enemy. Why is it difficult for the indigenous black people to understand they live among their enemies? Regardless of how nice one person from the other species of mankind treated you a decade ago, the word of the Most High said they are your enemies. Their track record confirmed the scriptures. The synagogue of Satan via the media always separated the indigenous black people from everyone else. The indigenous black natives of America and the Israelites who were brought to America via the transatlantic slave trade are viewed as non-humans and non-Americans. The beast system recognized the children of the colonizers and the colonial masters as natural born citizens on the lands they stole, while the indigenous black people fade in the background. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. The beast culture has conditioned the indigenous black people to believe they live in a post-racial society. If that were true, how come the indigenous black people experience the same discrimination and oppression during the time of chattel slavery? If equality was accepted in the beast system, one group would not be dominating. Everyone would be on the same level and have the same opportunities. How come there is a large wealth gap between the indigenous black people and the other species of mankind? The scriptures gave us a list of nations and bloodlines that conspired against the people of the Most High. The scriptures made sure to reveal that the enemies of the indigenous black people are confederate against them. The scriptures prophesied about their ways and the prophecies are being fulfilled. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. What is the scriptures disclosing when it said they are confederate against his people? The tares, the serpent seed, and the indigenous black sellouts conspired together on one accord. They have one common goal. They bind themselves together against the indigenous black people to make sure they don't succeed. The same way the Watchers took an oath to go with their plans to go against the Most High and create children in their likeness, the Watchers' offspring came together to cut the indigenous Black people off from being a nation and their names to be forgotten. The apple never fall far from the tree. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Know your names, indigenous black people. Presently, we live in a beast system that has its foot on the neck of the indigenous black people. The workers of iniquity persecute the indigenous black people to make sure they do not rise. They have the support of the kingdom of darkness to oppress the indigenous black people. The workers of iniquity burn Black Wall Street to keep the indigenous Black people in a building state of mind. That way, they will never catch up. If only the indigenous Black people understand the power of repentance. So many indigenous Black people have been deceived in religion to accept an idol as their savior over repentance. Until the indigenous Black people comprehend repentance, the people that hate them will continue to rule over them. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. John preached in his generation to repent because the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. 
He never said to the people, accept Jesus and be saved. Israelites and indigenous black people, it is important for you to understand repentance. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If the indigenous people were truly repenting, their conditions would improve and the Most High would make their enemies their footstool. In addition, the Most High said he would make their enemies at peace with his people if their ways please him the lord said unto my lord sit thou at my right hand until i make thine enemies thy footstool when a man's ways please the lord he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him indigenous black people does your ways please the most high so far you've heard in the scriptures you live among your enemies and those who hate you rule over you what is left to say to the indigenous black people about the people they live among The serpent seed have been hiding behind the indigenous black people's identity for far too long. As the awakening continue, the Most High is throwing a lifeline to his people. A turning point has come to strengthen the remnant. The time has come for the indigenous black people to know their inheritance, understand their bloodlines, and preserve what the Most High gave to them. Do not allow the other species of mankind to take over the dominion given to you by our Creator. By now you should know the other species of mankind are not the indigenous bloodlines of the scriptures. Now that we have a better image of who the characters are in the Bible and the Most High showing us who their living descendants are today, the Bible is no longer a mystery. We can begin to identify the people by their bloodlines and father's names. For many generations, we attach ourselves to the names and labels the kingdom of darkness gave to us via the serpent seed in the beast system. The high level workers of iniquity and religion never gave an accurate depiction of the characters in the scriptures. Every bloodline, including the Messiah, was whitewashed. The Hamites, whom the synagogue of Satan acknowledge are the indigenous black people, their descendants receive a makeover in the beast system to carry out Satan's will in the beast culture. The scriptures reveal the serpent seed painted images of their likeness into the book of the law. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. When you begin to match the characters in the scriptures with their living descendants, the scriptures become alive. Religion made the words of the Most High a fairy tale that many people could not relate. Nobody knew who the characters are in religion. In addition, the never-ending controversies surrounding the identity of the people. The scripture said the words of the Most High are alive and powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword. Since the words of the Most High are alive, we should be able to see the actions of his words playing out before us. Religion made the words of the Most High dead. The awakening has made the words of the Most High alive with the truth that is being revealed. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Now that we can put a face to the tares, the serpent seed, the chosen people, and the various bloodlines the scriptures speak of, we can begin to see the times we are living in, as well as prophecies aligning and being fulfilled. When the image and the bloodlines were distorted, everyone was confused. The Most High said he is not the author of confusion. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. The Most High did not breathe the breath of life into a creation that does not represent him and bear his name and image. The Most High did not create a people with strange features and say they are his children. The scriptures revealed the Most High created his people in his image and likeness. The watchers made children in their image and likeness. There are two created species of people, one with the image of the Most High, the other with the image of the fallen angels, the Watchers. Today in the beast system, there are two distinctive group of people with the opposite appearance, confirming the two different species of mankind the scriptures speak of. 
One of the first commandments the Most High gave to his creation that was made in his image was to be fruitful and multiply. Then the Most High says, subdue the earth and have dominion over everything in the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. There is no way the indigenous black people can be fruitful and multiply when their vision is distorted. They can't duplicate themselves when the indigenous black people do not have an accurate representation of themselves. Many indigenous black people accept the tares as a full-blooded indigenous black person. You can't be fruitful and multiply if you don't know who you are. How are you to pass on your bloodline to your children when you do not know your bloodline and how to preserve your bloodline? The scriptures reveal to us in the beginning, the Most High created the man and woman in his image and likeness. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created man, in the likeness of God made he him. Indigenous black people, to be fruitful and multiply, you must create children that are made in your image and likeness. Creating children in your image and likeness is how you transfer your bloodline to your children. Any inheritance left behind, your children can claim because they bear your name, image, and bloodline. There is a pandemic of indigenous black people creating children that are not made in their image. Dear indigenous black people, the colonizers are not the only one making tears. The colonizers started, but the indigenous black people are picking up where they left off. When you procreate with the other species of mankind, you are contributing to the populations of tares. Procreating with the children of the colonizers is not duplicating yourselves. And Adam lived an hundred and thirty years and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Seth. The synagogue of Satan is deceiving the indigenous black people with the one drop rule. You're cutting off your bloodline and giving the kingdom of darkness your inheritance, heritage, name, and legacy when you procreate with the other species of mankind. The serpent seed are the only people benefiting and inheriting the indigenous black people's wealth in the bee system. Stop giving away your image, culture, legacy to the kingdom of darkness. The time has come for you to stop trading your glory for the lesser. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The way the indigenous black people have been multiplying has not been beneficial to them. Stop letting the doctrines of devils deceive you. The kingdom of darkness tried to plague the awakening with false doctrines. I am glad many Israelites in the awakening are not accepting the doctrines of devils, especially the doctrine of devil that was introduced in the awakening to deceive the Israelites to create tares with strange women. Israelites continue to put on the armor of the Most High to recognize the kingdom of darkness deceptions. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The Most High destroyed his creation with a flood. The reason the Most High destroyed his creation, the whole earth became corrupt when the sons of God, the Watchers, infiltrated the indigenous black people. The only way the Most High could cleanse his creation was by destroying the serpent seed from among the human species. The Most High preserved Noah and his family to repopulate the earth. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. The Most High did not use the tares or mixed people. The Most High did not preserve the other species of mankind. 
the most high used an indigenous black family to repopulate the earth after the seed of the serpent infiltrate the human species. The most high started over with one family. If the other species of mankind and the human race are the same, how come the most high did not preserve the other species of mankind to repopulate the earth? Instead, the most high destroyed his creation to remove the serpent seed from among his people. Every time the serpent seed grew and multiplied, the Most High destroyed them. Today, the indigenous black people are welcoming and procreating with the serpent seed as if the Most High redeemed the children of Satan. If the Most High did not approve of the children born to the watchers and the daughters of men, what makes the indigenous black people believe the Most High authorized his people to spoil their seed with the strange women and men from the other species of mankind? The indigenous black people need to understand when you procreate with the other species of mankind, you are not multiplying. Just because the Most High allowed the tares to live among his people, this does not conclude the Most High approve of his people to procreate with the serpent seed. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them gather the wheat into my barn. The Most High want his people to be fruitful and multiply. Presently, we live in a society where the other species of mankind has determined the earth is overpopulated. Never in history did the Most High stop his people from multiplying due to overpopulation. Noah lived past 900 years of age. Back then, the people lived longer. The life expectancy has shortened significantly from the times of Noah. Somehow in this generation, the earth is overpopulated. The assessment of the world being overpopulated is propaganda by the kingdom of darkness to give the synagogue of Satan the opportunity to depopulate the earth through satanic nonprofit organizations. Indigenous black people, it is not normal to desire to have children that do not look like you. The Most High created his people in his image. The watchers had children in their image. The children of the colonizers were abandoned by their colonial fathers because they do not accept their mixed race children. The other species of mankind preserve their lineage. The tares go to great length to remove the little indigenous black blood they have because the tares choose to identify with their European heritage. The scripture said the Messiah is the image of the Most High. Keep in mind, the scripture said the image, not the most high in the flesh. Big difference. Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? The image that had been circulating of the Messiah is a false depiction. The other species of mankind refuse to worship or bow down to a God that do not look like them. They created the graven image to worship. The indigenous black people have been worshiping the graven image of the serpent seed. Through the worship of the false depiction of the Messiah, many indigenous black people put the other species of mankind on a pedestal. The indigenous black people admire the image of the other species of mankind that they willingly participate in whiting out their seed. The Most High command his people to fill the earth. The Most High want the indigenous people to fill the earth with indigenous black people that depict the image of the Elohim of Israel. Israelites and indigenous black people worldwide, you are not being fruitful and multiplying with the children of the colonizers. Do not be deceived. To multiply, you must love yourself. When you don't love yourself, self-hatred takes over and causes you to poison your seed and cut off your bloodline. A lack of knowledge also contributes to the increase of the population of the other species of mankind. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Now that you know the truth, do not perish from a lack of knowledge. We must honor the Most High and do what he command of his people. Decisions such as taking the other species of mankind for wives and husbands is keeping you in captivity and your oppressors ruling over you. These decisions keep you in sin. 
The other species of mankind will encourage you to engage in activities that separate you from the Most High. The scripture says sin separates you from the Most High. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Israelites and indigenous black people aim to stop the rebellion against the Most High in the awakening and repent. Repentance is the only way the indigenous black people will obtain the freedom they desperately seek. Once true repentance occurs in the indigenous black communities, there is nothing the kingdom of darkness can do to stand in your way. The time has come for you to honor and serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. Israelites and indigenous black people all over the world fill the earth with the image of the Most High. You are his image. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure.